Hi, my name is Michelle Depoy with Education Services. This video is one in a series that describe how to use eVault products and features. I'll demonstrate installing the Web Central Control executable that we downloaded in the previous video titled Downloading Web CC. It is recommended that you view that video before proceeding with this one. Web Central Control is a set of web services and other components that provide a centralized point of control for remotely managing backups and restores of servers on small, medium, or large computer networks. To begin the installation, I'll click on the Web Central Control executable that I downloaded in the previous video. On the Open File Security Warning window, to open the file, I'll click Run. The Welcome to the Install Wizard for Web Central Control window appears. Click Next. On the View Notes page, you can use the View drop-down menu to display instructions about getting support or release notes for the product. I'll click Next to continue. On the Software License Agreement page, you may scroll down to read the terms of the End User License Agreement. You must accept these terms in order to continue with the software installation. If you're OK with the terms of the agreement, click I Accept the Terms in the License Agreement and then click Next. You are offered the choice to perform a typical or custom installation. A custom installation using all of the default selections offers the same functionality as a typical installation. A typical installation installs all of the WebCC components and services on the same system. A custom installation allows you to install the WebCC components and services on separate systems. Choosing to install the WebCC components and services on separate systems is usually done to enhance WebCC performance. For example, the user interface, notification service, and registration components could be on different systems running under IIS than the other components which do not run under IIS. This video will demonstrate a typical installation. With typical installation selected, I'll click Next. For users to properly connect to your Web Central Control after installation, the web application domain name that is provided here must be fully qualified. If you intend to have users connect to this application over the Internet, the domain name here must be an Internet Registered Domain Name. If the users will only connect to this site through your internal network, then the domain name provided here can be an internally resolvable domain name. I'll accept the address created by the system and click Next. If you've installed SQL on the same machine as you are installing WebCC, it will be discovered and displayed in this dialog box. You can choose to authenticate through Windows Authentication or SQL Server Authentication. I'll test the connection by clicking Test. When the connection has been successfully established, I'll click OK and then click Next. WebCC supports multiple languages. I'll leave the default of English and click Next. I'll leave the installation path as it defaults and click Next. The AMP proxy is one of the WebCC components that might be located on a separate system. The AMP proxy accepts connections from different agents and forwards them to WebCC web services. An AMP proxy system is useful when the WebCC services are behind a firewall and are not directly reachable by the agent systems. If the AMP proxy is located on a separate system, you must provide its web address and IP address here. Because separate systems are not used in this demonstration, this component is located on the WebCC system itself and I'll use the local IP address and hostname. And click Next. If you have eVault reports installed in your environment, you may integrate it with WebCC. This integration means that a user logged into WebCC is able to generate reports from eVault reports by selecting an additional reporting tab which is added to the WebCC user interface. To configure this integration, you would select the checkbox in this window. You will be prompted to enter the URLs necessary to contact the eVault report services. Evolt Reports is not installed in this demonstration environment, so I'll just click Next to continue. And click Yes to begin the software installation. You can monitor the progress of the software installation. When the installation is successful, the WebCC URL and login information is displayed. I'll click Finish. You're then asked if you'd like the installer to open a browser window so that you can log into WebCC. I'll click Yes. The default browser is started and automatically accesses the WebCC login URL and the WebCC login page appears. 
Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about other eVault products and features, be sure to view the growing number of technical demonstration videos available on our website.